Welcome back, everyone, to the Immortal Break the Game Weekly number 22 for the, or for the Alpha Edition. I'm your host, Dominic Rorschach, if you prefer, and still joined by ZK. How's it going, ZK? Pretty good, pretty good. Ready for the lower bracket finals. All right. Oh, yeah, let me make sure that it's clear. That's exactly what's going on. Mm -hmm. Losers finals, and it will be Santa against Wajizo. Yep. Wajizo. Wajizo? Wajizo. I think it should be Wajizo, still... but you know. Still 1v1, I think. Yeah, uh, best of one, I mean. Yep. Okay, and Santa gets to choose the first map, so that'll be pretty interesting to see how he oh, decides. Oh, yeah, they chose, they chose Frontiers. So. As as I expected from Santa. Also yeah, considering what happened last time. He's enjoying Frontiers so far. So yeah, we'll see how Santa decides to go for this one, Zal. Uh, getting into Final Free for a great achievement for himself. I think that's the furthest he's gone into the tournament, so he's quite happy with himself. Uh, good for him, as he was the third seed of the tournament, getting right. third place. While it's kind of what what I expected, he's a, it's a great achievement for himself to uh, get that far. Uh, that is an achievement, though I'm going to double check that. That's true! Pius has gotten so far as fifth place. Or fourth place, sorry. Last yeah, week was fourth place. So yeah, third place is indeed better than he's currently done. Yeah, so always getting better. So Zoo is one of those players that keeps on playing, asking for games all the time. Comes out with a, a few kooky strategies. He used to only do some cheese when he started playing, well, first tournaments, and that's often a good way to get started. Oh, yeah, no, it's pretty typical. <laughs> yeah, but now he's figured out a bit more macro styles. But to play against Santa, he might go back to that uh, those early cheesiness. But uh, if anyone knows cheese, that is Santa. So we'll see how he runs forward with this. That's definitely the question. Oh, man. Santa versus Zoo. It's always an interesting matchup. And curious, so far Santa has played both Zoo and Orzum. So we know he likes both of them. Curious how he goes with here is He definitely wants to win this one. Doesn't want to uh, get caught with his pants down. So see what type of uh, army he heads for. Well, which immortal he heads for and which army will come from that. Mm-hmm. Made a big difference. I'm a bit more curious if they're going to go Orza Mirror because, like, this map has really been encouraging Karas play. Why is always playing much of Orzum? Santa historically has played Orzum. Yeah. There's a lot of reasons for Orzum to be played. Yeah. A lot on of both sides. Zal. Yeah, Zal, Zal just plays Orzum in general. And the sense is only a best of one. For sure, Santa wants to win this one, doesn't want to give a chance to his opponent, so he'll play whatever he's best at. Which, exactly. as you said, stiff, it has typically been Orzum, but lately he's been switching it up a lot. So it could be really anything. It's, it's Santa and Santa. Does anything? I mean, we have seen Zo play play Zol. Oh yeah, a bit yeah. I'd say less than uh, some other of our top players. Zo is slowly trying to get trying to get into. It's all about a lot of playing. I'm sure Santa they've got there. Been, I mean, they've been grinding a lot. Like Zo has been putting in the work. There, mm. there's, yeah. It often comes down to finding opponents. Is, an alpha game just doesn't have as, ma as many uh, players as we would love to have, but they'll be here eventually. Now we have a small community, a very nice, fun community. Yeah, it's a kind of intentional, actually. The players are trying to, or the, the developers are trying to make sure that the players aren't getting, like, they aren't overwhelmed with new players so that they can yeah. kind of maintain a culture. Because as it grows, like, there's more people, so it's easier to kind of maintain a culture, like maintain the kind of friendly culture that we have. Yeah. So the more people we have, the easier it is to incorporate more people, but at the start, it's a little bit harder. Yeah. No, we'll, we'll see how it goes up once uh, we need to scale, as we will need to scale at some point as we want the game to Probably become one of the biggest. I think, I think closed beta is where it's going to start scaling up a lot, and then open beta, of course, is just where it's going to explode. I'm, I'm but really I expect it's going to be ramp up and closed. Yeah, well, especially if you get a third faction, you get a lot more like a, a lot of more play tools, right? Once you get the third, oh faction, yeah, it's gonna be people are gonna get really excited about that, or at least I'm hoping for. Uh, I, I'm pretty excited. Definitely, when Ari was introduced, that was a that oh, was yeah. a sea change. Oh yeah, it was a huge change, and getting a third one just, I mean, it's always exponential in how many matchups grow. And Zoo is heading out with two molts already. Fire Singer mm. Rush is what he's aiming to do. <laughs> Fire Singer Rush and Fire Singer Hall. Rush is what they will Who's be setting up. 
Uh, attacking yep. on the very first mode. Oh, sure. right, yeah, because Santa's playing Zelda. I, 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 my brain just sort of went, oh, yeah, of course, Santa's building, you know, the forward oh. Legion Hall. That's where you're supposed to build the Legion Hall. Oh, wait, no, that's Zeus. Yeah, <laughs> Oops. everything is up there. <laughs> okay, perfect play from Santa. Cancels it immediately. You don't want to try and defend this. No, um, no, it's always one base. You have to defend on one base. Yeah, the Fire Singers will not be useful. Getting that tech a bit faster, you need to get those, those E first to not get those next units. Same time, Zal cancels his second Legion Hall. Is that just a feint, or is he going to do something about it? He's, he made sure his opponent saw him cancel it. Of course, Santa, behind all this, can still scout his opponent. He sees there's no base going up. Uh, okay, Fire Singer going up. Oh, unless it was just they intended to build a Fire Singer and miss tights? No, the hockey isn't... No, they saw the Fire Singer in the town... In the... Acropolis hockeys, but whatever. Yeah, fire singers are always really decent. I mean, it's always a good idea. And here comes the Legion Hall. Uh, that will help in getting that that uh, a little bit of hallowed ground to help those entire fight those those uh, bone stalkers. There'll be a lot of bone stalkers coming down, and that fire that fire singer will be has decent DPS, but doesn't have enough to deal with this. Uh, so damage over time is the other problem. I mean, the Bone Stalkers need to run away, and damage over time just reduces their ability to do so effectively. Coming in so soon. So yeah, as you're coming back in with the cheese, he thinks this is the best chance in Santa. I don't really disagree with him. Santa's very good at that macro game. Yeah. And, well, he's also good at dealing with cheese, which is how he's coming out with the Zakalos now. Zakalos, good at taking the first punch of all those units while the Bone Stalkers deal the DPS from behind those big uh, resin shields. Wait, where'd Zeus army go? Are they going for a secret expansion? They are going for a secret expansion. What? Mm, hop right like that on top of it. See, Santa, there's a, there's a pretty poor chance he discovered this. And, oh, he just built a tower foundation to raw worst possible time as oh. no units are here. And he just gives it to his opponent. His opponent will have a free defense there if he wants to use it. And that's pretty bad for White Jays out. Oh, man. The, the really bad timing on that. The one the one saving grace is Santa can't take advantage of it yet. Exactly. They haven't got enough pyre for that. But that won't take long. Like one neutral tower and they can just set up. Yeah, Santa will be very happy with that. It's a gift from the heavens from Santa's and now he might just oh, be going for the time, attack. They are, but Santa's getting out of position. Why does those like setting up the Legion Hall up front here was very clever. As far as Santa knows, I guess they they knew the one Legion Hall, they didn't know the other. Yeah, well, yeah, Santa's Santa is not going to be able to defend this. Because yeah, if Santa goes for a counterattack, this is just going to be a base trade against base trade. Um, and and that, why is Zell's already set up to win? Yeah, they already, already have, have their hidden trade. expansion. Yeah. Okay, Zell's going in. Uh, Santa sees it. Is he heading back? He's heading back. They are. He okay, good. Safe play from Santa. And sure. Zell, okay, Zell, not confident they can take this. Oh. And this I don't blame them. This is dangerous. No, he has doesn't have the micro potential at all here. The base. Okay, no, without Hallow Ground, Ground, no. Hallow Ground's really good. Let's get the tower, tower, tower cancelled. Down. Now Santa, if they can take this, if they, Santa takes out the Legion Hall, it's over. Like, that's all they need to do. Take the Legion Hall, it is done. Santa forcing back the Zentari. Nothing else here, and that Legion Hall dying ends the cheese. And why does that has very little behind it? They have only the one Soul Foundry, nothing else. No other production on the board. Why does Zhao is wide open for a counterattack? Yeah, the they, have no, they have no military. They have 30 seconds before any military comes in. Santa Claus can just wipe them. <laughs> and Santa's even taking his time at this point, taking out the towers. Uh, Zhao's going to expand behind this, but uh, yeah, that's going to be too little too late. I mean, they have the extra money, which is nice. It does mean that Santa will, as Santa goes for the main base and starts taking it out, why does Zhao's going to have a little bit more time to work with to rebuild something? These Absolvers. Yeah. Oh, Santa. The timing is so tight. The Absolvers will pop out right as Santa is getting to the Legion. The Soul Founder if they go for the tower first. And they are going for the tower first, giving that little bit of extra time. Oh, Ooh, Empire Broken is not. That's, that's all they need. The buy-in time for the Absolvers. The calls still are going to be a problem. The Absol Watch those Absolvers are not going to be able to deal with Santa's the calls. So Santa has an opportunity here. Finds the time on the deploy. Takes out one. The other one goes down soon after, but several of the calls have dropped. But that's it. That's all why just had to defend. And Santa just has to take out two fire singers. All units are gone. Goes drops the moats, because why not? There's not much else they can do. 
I mean, the modes he might are trying. Just survive it. They, yeah, they might just survive this, actually. They did get rid of one of those Akal, and seconds of Akal coming through. Santa's focused on building their economy. They don't want to commit to base trade. Yeah, Dervish comes out the last second, and here come the Centauri as well. So he has enough units to defend at this point. And Santa behind this, he, the next push is coming. Next part of it is coming. Does he, as don't, they don't realize that Why just Zhao got like an extra base that this is well, i mean this is zao's type of player right he's someone that will fight to the end he never gives up so santa doesn't really have a clue it's like oh he he must have a second base if he's still in the game right no this is just how zao plays he stays yeah. to the very end i mean it's not it's not that much yet like it's something but it's one base is unupgraded compared to a full base plus a bastion it might not be noticeable yeah here it comes and here come the from so Santa behind this. Oh, you don't. He's not gonna have any anti air on the other side. He has the fire seer and the bastion. So just yeah, bit of they, they could build anti air and they could have anti air, but yeah, their main tower is gone. So the open there's. I mean, it's wide open. If they want to send thrums around the side to take out moats, there's nothing can stop them. It, so well, Santa can just go. Santa can just go, and the only problem is dealing with the absolvers. And there's a bit of defense in front of it as well. Magi would be so useful here for Zal being able to get that hallowed ground, those units. Uh, okay, is the calls at the front, or just the fronts at the front, because nothing can hit, hit the fronts at this point. Why does trying to find an for? opening? I think they're just trying to find openings to harass from. Oh, while he's doing that, he's pushing okay. forward, and the Dervish stays alive. Force watches out of position. Well played by Santa. And now Santa, with the distraction of the back, watches though cannot deal with that with the units they have. There's not sure why you're heading back. You cannot shoot up. Nothing in your possession shoots up. Uh, and you can't build small. anything more to actually do. I think, it's I think they might suicide some units to try to get get free supply. Yeah, he has to cancel that Angela Ram as well, unless he wants to lose that resource. Please cancel it. Are you gonna are you gonna no, no? No. Uh, no. Oh, that's an expensive loss. No, these yeah. thrums. No, there's nothing. There's nothing that can stop them. Castigator yeah. is on the way for Zell. It's, it's too little, too late. The whole point of this is just to be, like, for like, honestly, th this is a bonus. The fact that Santa's gotten so much damage is a bonus, because all they really need is a way to threaten the absolvers. Yeah. Well, here comes the Castigator finally out. Uh, but one Castigator does not deal with that many. Even with the AOE on top of it, the, the Frums don't even mm. care. The Elk no. is always out to take care of the Castigator. <laughs> just drop, drop in the fire, because why not? I mean, Santa's got plenty. Doesn't last forever, but it lasts long enough. A few moat kills, a few bit of damage there. Why not just snipe the Castigator, Santa thinks? Because why not just snipe the Castigator? It's a good plan. And all this time, Santa's building up behind this. There is nothing that Zol that Zhao has, which Santa hasn't really already accounted for, except... Maybe this expansion, which is now getting spotted. Santa hey. wants to expand, goes, oh, hey, hello, Zhao, you made a hidden expansion. Well, that explains a lot. Yep, and behind this, Santa's just sending his army back to deal with it. Uh, hoping that his own opponent realized that once that base is detected, it will be killed. And then it will be pretty hopeless at this point. Oh, more hopeless than the current situation. Yeah, which... they've, they have, what, Bastion economy and that's it? Yeah, why does Zhao has... Oh, yeah, that base. It's been detected. The base, they do. Here comes the Santa's fire fingers. Not, is Santa not worried about that? Santa doesn't seem to be worried about that. Well, here, okay, finally, finally, some of the Zephyrs come out. Well, one Zephyr and two Caskers can deal with this, but they actually can't because that's way too many frums. Uh, unless it's, there's a perfect splash. Well, the Cascade splash damage. Yeah, it's if they're if the frums clump up, why does Zhao should be able to stop them? But of course, uh, the Santa can just place them elsewhere. Santa doesn't have to be fighting Zhao's army. Santa can go and harass the back again. Santa can go and take out more production, more tech. Zhao only has 64 supply worth of available supply, and they've used pretty much all of it. Heading for the Ancient, and oh, the final bat battle at the Ancient. Is Zhao actually going to take out, come out and take the Ancient out with him? He very well might, uh, but the Frums come from behind. And start dealing with those heavy anti-air dealing damage. Up, uh, they're all clumped up, and the shot from those cannons Oof, are dealing. But it's not enough. Damage. They're all clumped up. Santa had more thrums, able to focus down the castigators quickly enough. It's not a threat. Santa takes the ancients. Santa takes the skies. Zhao has nothing to contend. The sentinel is even, one sentinel is not going to be enough either. Same reason. Just too much going one way. 
too much firepower to deal with. Why is Zhao desperately looking to find anything to stop these thrums from dealing damage? Not finding anything so far. And after all, the tower comes down for Absenna, who just wants to keep his opponent on in his base. Doesn't isn't intent on stopping mining quite yet. Yeah, well, why why would they? They've got three bases on the way. Four bases on the way. Santa's just a mass expanding. Hey, forget it's, it. You're gonna take that one base. I'll take I'll take every other one. Santa, <laughs> you should stop playing with your food at this point. You you can just do it, Santa. Don't need to play with your food this much. And that, that's that's a bit what this looks like right now. Santa just using his farms to do as much damage as he can, but he doesn't need to kill anything. Even summon Zal to deal with this. As a, the no, food I is no, I don't back. know. I'm gonna I'm gonna give Santa credit here because this is actually not a clear-cut thing. Like, even looking at the numbers is not entirely a clear-cut thing. Ground Assault against the Absolvers at, with all the defense is not a clear-cut thing. Like, Aru's oh, but... forces individually aren't that strong, and a lot of Santa's firepower is in the air, which is getting less and less useful. Castigators but have, you know were clear -cut thing? not great, but Sentinels were. But no, it's a clear-cut thing. He could have killed the base at the top right immediately. <laughs> That's true. Stuff. That is true. That part... <laughs> I Well, they could have... Oh, I, he still can. He's I'm a little just, curious what the motivation for not doing that was. If they were thinking maybe to hold on to oh, the Santa's army outside of the base? Santa's playing with his food. Okay, That's fine. We'll go with that. Fine, <laughs> fine, fine. The northeast base, you're right. That could have been... That could be dead. That could definitely be dead. But Santa, just intent on showing him that, you know, you're trying to be spicy right now, but uh, spicy does not disturb him. Santa has the, has the power yeah. behind all the flavors and is willing to just push forward and... We'll take all the bases on the map before finishing him off with one bite. Pretty much. Yeah, okay, so, yeah, well, okay, we're already seeing Santa's going mass. Like, they, they are getting their armies up. They're like, oh, my opponent's actually getting an army up. I guess I should also make an army instead of just going mass runs. <laughs> yeah, I'll see. If, kind of funny why Zoe goes god mode, checks the map afterwards, and realizes, oh, my opponent had... Just let just made the contain work. I mean, they already see this one. This one is probably the biggest hint that Santa's gotten five, six bases so far. Yeah, it's, not it's that's not gonna really. matter. Why does Zoe has nothing to stop this? The Sentinels fall. The only real threat to the thrones without the throne without the Sentinels, Santa can wipe everything out that Zoe's built, and they do. Why does his army is wiped off the map? To be Expansion sure, attempt is well. failed. They traded it's okay, but the fact that the Thrums are still around and no oh, yeah. anti-air to deal with them means that the, while the ground forces aren't there, Santa has absolute free reign over everything. Yeah, Why does though can't do much? He's still on free bases. Well, getting his third base right now. Is, uh, true. Had to, true. Try, had to try to get it as well, but he couldn't. Fortunately, it was uh, already taken by the other base. <laughs> Just contain more <laughs> Static defense wars. Why not? And here come the Frums. <laughs> yeah, Castigator is trying to deal with the Frums again. Santa's just content going mass from to deal with any anti air that comes out. And the anti air is just not quite enough right now. You need the numbers. Like, why should Zoe needs the numbers? That's that's all it is at this point. It's a numbers game that Santa has a significant lead on, that they have maintained a significant lead on. And that they have the economy to completely blow out a significant lead on. Like, this is. Again, it's merely a matter of when they get the production structures. Yes, it's it's how really fast to get that. Yeah. What you're saying? No, no, no. I'm just watching uh, Santa coming up with more fronts and the anti is coming out, but there's. Uh, yes, it, it's the quantity is its own quality thing again. Where. Uh, yep. Despite having the perfect counter to those fronts, is just not enough. Perfect counter in the right position because the true power of from comes in being able to attack anywhere, but not this time. <laughs> He's no, straight on. Santa, Santa's face rolling castigators with thrums. Mm. Yeah, just put your face in them and they will fall off. Don't do that with the rest of spicy food. That will hurt your eyes quite a bit. No. I'll see your face, which will fall off. Yeah, eventually. No, uh, <laughs> How yeah, many thrums is that? Too many. <laughs> Evidently, Too many, yes. Why yeah. <laughs> well, so can't deal with them? Just snipe anything you want, Santa. Clearly, that's that's the strategy. It's working. See, the problem for Rogers, though, is that they are... like Okay, they've clued in. They've got to keep their castigators back until they get enough of them to deal with the thrums. 
No, he wanted to keep his base life as long as possible. That's just not happening anymore. No. No, you have a perfectly healthy base in the northeast corner. It's doing fine. It's doing 100% fine. There's no one attacking it. Just exactly. It. Yeah. Okay. Still contained. It's still good. Still good. Come in with Zol and the Frums. Okay, Santa. I, they've clearly showed that this is not this is not happening. Oh yeah. Even with yeah. you know, the tower trying to just survive as much as possible, it's not it's not enough. Fire singers do have their. They don't have their upgrade for AOE, so that would have, Oh yeah, they do. That would help. That helps quite a bit. It, it does help, but you got the Bone Stalkers now, and oh, yeah. Santa, again, has outproduced everything. Like Santa could just double their army right now if they wanted to. Or just about. Yeah, but he's just content going for more frums. And always more yep. frums. Yep. Bait Ether blocked, but it's been working. And nothing left to defend. The Castigators try, but again, it's just not enough in time. Santa's not even that concerned. I mean, they they took their time going after the Castigators there. Like, this is... Yeah, Santa's more. prioritizing buildings. He can just make more frums if anything happens. Yeah, here. exactly. They got plenty of time for that. They got, they, honestly, they're, they're bigger worry of supply, which they have dealt with, to be fair. And there it is! Santa takes the game. Wajizu is out of the tournament. Third place, though. So congratulations, Wajizu, for getting third place. That was that was indeed your best performance. Yeah, and we are so far. Getting, yeah, exactly. He'll, he'll keep getting better, and then... Uh... And then... Yeah, so let's head to the grand finals. Magical and Santa going at it for the the major the big title of it, the winner of the Break of the Game Weekly number 22. It will be a best of five with Magical coming from the upper bracket, starting with a 1-0 lead. So Magical needs two wins to secure the win, while Santa does need to get all three of them. It will be an interesting battle in this uh, best of five. As we see, if Santa has uh, another cheese to... If he can win in the later games... Fortunately, last time it didn't quite work out in the in the later games, but he was able to secure a very early win of the first G's. We'll see if it takes it and brings that up again. We'll see which map Delson yeah. decide to go for. Uh, that is a good question. Magical is getting a lot of success in Frontiers, so I expect we're going to see Magical choose that for the first one. Yeah. Oh, I should well double check that that is not like a forced map or something. I don't think there's a forced map because Lost Promises. Oh no, it is actually forced to be Canyon. Ooh, forced to be canyon. Okay, so we're heading for canyon. All right. Well, watch as they're getting a bit of post game coaching. Well, while we do that, did hi. I hope you're doing well. Uh, it's a, been a pretty fun tournament. I think we've all been enjoying ourselves. So, yeah, yeah, yours. I mean, have, yeah. I, I I'm glad you're all here watching the tournament. It's good to see. It's good to see people saying, watching the tournament. Is that your way of saying you want to give out another key? I think it's time. More keys. All right. Is there anyone else? That, there's probably another person that wants a key in there. There's always keys to be given out. Yeah, I wasn't. I didn't stream this last week, so we do in fact have a lot more keys than I'm normally used to this. Oh no. Late in the month. Too many keys. What will we do? Oh, I guess we'll just give them all <laughs> away. Guess so. Let's see lobby. Oh. I don't know, I'm just getting ready. Ah, oh, man. Heading out. <laughs> Heading out to the finals. Magical over Santa, a battle for the eight. We're used to seeing a bit both players really bringing out different Immortals. I'm curious. Magical. Magical's been playing a bit of Orzum, but I wasn't been playing a bit of everything so far this tournament. I kind of want to see more Canyon. I'm quite happy we are at least for one of the maps. And we'll see how it goes for the next ones. We'll see more Canyon. Yeah, Canyon's an interesting map. It's been very... It's the best way I can put it. Canyon is a map which has seen some weird, like really weird plays. Especially center map stuff. I think it was Wajah Zoe actually in the last 1v1 tournament. They went for this like four Legion Halls map center thing. Mm -hmm. Just out of nowhere. Yeah, the high ground. And 
High ground the safe. high ground, yeah, the high ground on that map is very impactful. Like, it's honestly the most impactful part. Like, I, I would say it is the map with the most impactful high ground. Yeah. Yeah, because that canyon in the middle of the map is just uh, kind of dangerous That's to go into. And unless you've, break, unless you've broken the rocks down, you can't go through it directly. Yeah. Like, the straight line rush distance is just not there. Yeah, I need to figure out exactly how to go into this to attack. And, yeah. Try to see how Santa. Well, no, I'm quite happy to see Canyon, even though Santa said no. I don't. I didn't want to play Canyon so far. <laughs> now he's forced into it. And what will he do with it? What? How will he attack into it? How? How will he find a solution to his opponent's attacks? In any case, it is <laughs> set magical with Orzum on the bottom right in the red, and Santa Azul in the top left and the blue. With a what? very early Legion Hall because it worked last time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But this time, Magical will scout it. He will be aware of checking for E for timings. And will, where will he place his uh, first Legion Hall? The thing is, you don't really have as much of a Legion Hall expo exposed place to put it on, I guess. Like, where would you put Legion Hall? Kind of wanted to guess your main. in the front tower, maybe? Yeah. Like, either, like, right, either here or maybe in the low ground, but... Yeah, well, you could put it north just to get the hallowed ground to the north of your expansion. Yeah. Because if not, that's where Santa can attack into. Oh, yeah, in between in between these two towers. Yeah. Or between the natural and the third base, just uh, to have hallowed ground there before the base finishes. Or to expand your hallowed ground uh, zones. Because that's the other big part of early building placement for a crop, is deciding where do you want hallowed ground. Because that time, you don't want to expose your buildings too much, because losing your, your production structures is very expensive. That is a loss that cost them the game last time. Yeah. Like that's that's the thing very much worth noting here. If Santa can take out the Legion Hall, they saw last time Magical just folded. Yeah, well, the Legion Hall is next to the tower this time. Magical not making the wait, same mistake twice. Wait, but, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, Symbiote being cheeky? Symbiote what? being cheeky? What can he Santa do? doesn't have 50 Pyre. They is can't... he stealing the Aether? <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, I haven't seen that. Actually, I have not seen that in Immortal. I don't think you can, though, because you have to have the... You have to have the unproduction town hall in order to build ether there. So oh, I don't no. think stealing ether is possible. Ah, oh, unfortunate. Yeah. Okay. okay, so Santa wants is heading for the kill on that base. That's why he's heading his build to do the extra DPS just a little bit. Uh, but he's playing against Orzum, which means Empire Unbroken if ever it gets too low. Which, mm. like, if it gets too low. And at this point, the first Antari... Well, the bigger problem, that yeah, that's Antari being the main threat here. Symbiote uh, still exploring around, finding what he <laughs> the next step. Why is that there? Oh, it doesn't matter what? anymore. I, was, I really wanted to see it alive. Like I wanted to see it alive if Santa could get Bloodwell and set up some set up some Rootway, maybe get some stuff built up that way. That would be kind of cool. It doesn't need it at this point. There's a lot of Centauri and way more Bone Stalkers, but what wins here? The quantity is there, but the quality of Centauri can't be denied. Uh, Santa magical is being perfectly. super careful. Magical's being super careful with their forces. That's leading to far less damage on their side. Santa, Santa's recklessness is paying off as Magical's lost half the Zentari. Reinforcements from Santa are arriving. Magical's natural expansion remains threatened. Santa being very careful who they attack, but never Ooh. losing Bone Stalkers. Yeah, exactly. It's all about not losing the Bone Stalkers. Here comes the Empire Unbroken, which reduces the damage and also heals the building at the end. Magical just get, getting as much time as he can to can get the army to deal with those Bone Stalkers, but there's so many Bone Stalkers coming out. And it stopped, the attack stopped for a little bit as not more coming out. And down to numbers, kind of in Magical's favor. He has the quality and the quantity. Oh, yeah, no, Magical's got strong. this. Yeah. Magical's got this. They know it. They're pushing. Santa retreats with very little to show for it. Some dead Zentari, which is nice, but what did Santa get behind it? No expansion, no additional tech. Yeah, he didn't get a kill either. Yeah, and didn't they know. didn't get the game either. So, Santa Magical. Taking the first game off of a failed cheese. Yeah, so it's now 2-0. Magical's one win away from winning. Another grant, another tournament. I don't have the count of how many he's won. Uh, we're going back on four. I do. What's the count? Including the pre-alpha or just for alpha? For alpha, mm. for alpha double elimination tournaments. Six 1v1 wins and two 2v2 wins. Also including alpha trials, which okay. Magical won. Magical won the alpha trials last week. They got second yeah, the in the 2v2, first yeah. in the 1v1 wins. But yeah. yeah. So six 1v1 wins tournament wins for magical yeah he's been there well at the very least like he he didn't win the big big tournament but besides that he's been pretty much our champion for a lot of the stuff hydra of course came back to win the money tournament as 
Mm-hmm. I was more into uh, playing other strategy games for okay, now. But they needed that, though. After oh, yeah. having gotten basically, due to a weird rules thing, they didn't, They would have gotten a StarCraft win. They didn't, and they should have. It was, it yeah, was it really vindicating for them. Yeah. yeah. No, it was unfortunate for him, but at least, yeah, he... he he got a lot. He he doubled his uh, his his winnings that he's had had for esports so far. It's a good start for him as he's still young and still getting up there in the oh, esports yeah, scene. Want to be a big competitor? And we'll see how he does in this tournament again. Yeah, when he comes back for the next money tournaments, he keeps coming back for them. Always getting in teams with Mixu for those two v twos. Mixu, uh, Mixu, being in Atlanta right now, uh, getting top. 40, I think, in the Atlanta tournament, getting 500 bucks, so good for him again. For top 40? Wow, that's a prize pool. Oh, yeah, it's it's a big tournament. There's a pretty nice prize pool there. Sheesh. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh. What do you got? Let's check to make sure. Yeah, it's going to be 500 for top 48. What's the top prize? Uh, 1,500? Uh, 15,000? Well, I guess that tracks, but that's a lot, man. Oh, yeah. Starcraft, uh, Starcraft still going strong. There's a lot of interest in RPS in general, or strategy games. People love them. True, Money going true. in, yeah. Despite uh, yep. Starcraft being 12 <laughs> years old at this point, still going strong. Uh, but there's some nice follow-up coming in with Immortal and some other yeah. ones that are <laughs> that will be popping up and uh, will hopefully reinvigorate the whole strategy game scene. That'd be great. I, I would love to see it. Oh, yeah. yeah. All those sponsors coming in. The... Kind of hoping also, like, the stuff with Unreal Engine 5 that we're going to see some kind of, like, kit or something made to help with RTS production. Or yeah, strategy in production, because that's... That's been a bit of a limitation. What the Santa? Okay. All right. Not even not even 12 seconds into the game, and Santa's already going for workers. Just push workers. And it's Magical. Either, so the question there is... There are. Isn't... Will he be heading for the natural, or will be he, he be heading for the main directly to deal with the units? Uh, there won't be, the towers won't be attacking until 150, so Santa will get in there in time for that. Making sure to get a teapot ahead of time to scout everything going on to make sure his workers don't get detected yeah. by anything. Yeah, actually, look, notice that all the moats, or sorry, all the symbiotes are going on the bit of the scenic route because they don't want to get intercepted, and that was, that was wise. It worked out. Um, Even as it is, like, Magical's not going to see it. Magical's not going to see it. Nope. Yeah, what does he go for? The base or he heads for the base? Okay. Santa, magical right now is uh, is face bombing, wondering what's the best response <laughs> to this. He's hanging out with his own most to help deal with this. Building but they the have more home. of them. They have more of them. This is definitely advantage to magic. It's entire to micro. Down to micro. Santa's getting okay. Santa with surround going reasonably their way, able to get one. Now nah, one goes down. Santa's got to be careful. Regroups. Do not find the entrance point. Magical's protecting their weak moats. Yeah, there's, there's two very weak moats on, on uh, Magical's side. He has to be careful. Might want to pull them back. And Santa's still jumping on his opponent as fast as he can. All the units are pretty equal in fighting power. And Santa, at the same time, always heading back for the base when he can. And that just means he's a bit more vulnerable to Magical coming forward to him. It, comes, it still comes down to arcs, especially with these melee unit fights. Legion Hall going down for Magical, so he'll have the, the he'll have his Antari coming in to help as soon as possible. At that point, the rush will be over, and Santa. Well, well, well. Yeah, Santa the, ru- the initial rush, yes. Mast hunters are on the way. Yeah, Santa had the advantage here of having his units come out a bit faster than his opponent, uh, which is a decent advantage, right? You, you have your base, but now Magical has the extra base. And protected his own base, so what more can Magical want? Of course, he can't the full surround on this entire with the mass hunters, and that's what he's going for. He needs the full surround here. <laughs> I mean, extra DPS oh. in the symbiotes is not nothing, but Magical was able to slip away. Yeah. Now the he's... moats, moats are being the frontliner here, keeping the keeping the Centauri distracted. Yeah, mass hunters coming around though, getting hit hard. One Centauri goes down. Magical able to. Get some damage in there. Getting rid of all Santa's symbiotes, but the masked hunters are still able to get rid of most of the moats. Uh, Santa's getting pushed back. It is, yeah. it is too little too late. Santa Claus, they might be able to do a micro battle outside of Hallowed Ground. That's their only hope. If they can get this micro battle, they're okay, but they're not doing so hot so far. Reinforcements uh. are on the way in droves. Santa doesn't have the army and doesn't have the game. They do not have the confidence. Magical is the tournament winner for the Break the Game Alpha number 22. Oh, oh well, that uh, that was the final. That's uh, that, that was it. Screen. That's the tournament. 
Yeah. Like, <laughs> Santa did not feel confident in his macro after a... He's already lost in the winner's finals. He did his best there, and this time he went for all cheese, hoping to catch his opponent off guard. Fortunately, was not yeah. quite enough this time, as Magical takes his seventh Alpha 1v1 tournament <laughs> win. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's it. <laughs> and that... That was very well done, I gotta say. Like, good good mm -hmm. job, you. Yep, you gotta take out those... Uh, bring out those, uh, those workers to help defend. You can bring them out as frontliners for the frontliners. And deal with everything. So with that, we are for ending on a really weird note, but it's a it's the note we're ending on. The tournament is complete. So thank you to all of you who participated for participating. Thank you, ZK, for hanging out to help co-commentate. That was very helpful. And as always, you can find ZK at ZK012 on Twitter and well, for as long as the last Twitch. Yeah. And for as long as the last Twitter. And you can find me on both at Dominant Casts or YouTube. At Dominant Casts, like with the at, or Shadow Fury 63 if you just want the channel name. That's where the VODs will be. But otherwise, yeah. that's going to be it. So thank you, all of you, for watching. And have a good night, everyone. <laughs>